morning, Lion Hearts. It's your old pal Jordan the Lion coming to you live from a cold Bruges, Belgium morning. Well, let me tell you what's going on today. Today, the original plan was to go to Paris, but I looked up train tickets before I came um, to Europe, and it looked like it was going to be about 55 euros each way. When I got here, it was going to be like 250 total round trip, which is like the price of a plane ticket, literally. Um, so I was planning on doing that and the Netherlands while I was here. But instead, I it looks like, unless I can figure out a better way, it's just going to be Amsterdam. So we're going to Amsterdam today. So let's go hop on the train and have some fun. Now what are we going to do today? Rembrandt's house, the Anne Frank house, the statue of the Night Watchman. It's going to be a blast. Days of the Jordan the Lion begins now. And look at the fog. Just like an old European movie. And if you're wondering what time it is that we're taking off today, 5 a.m. Full day. All right, I made it to the train on time. So here's our itinerary today for this train ride. Start here in Bruges, then we're going to Ghent, then we're going to Antwerpen, then we're going to Rotterdam in the Netherlands, and then we're going to Amsterdam. All right, first train switch over. All right. We've arrived in Antwerpen for our next changeover, and it is cold and snowy. Oh man, it is cold out here today. Jeez Louise. I needed to stop in and get a coffee. Well, this is what Antwerpen looks like. I'm certainly lucky that I didn't choose to go there on part of this trip. This is just a stopover. Now let's go to the train. Got my coffee. All right, this next train will get us into the Netherlands. We're gonna end up in Rotterdam and then we're gonna go to Amsterdam from there. It is cold. There it is. There it is. The Polar Express. I will be at. All right, in the Netherlands, it looks like there's no snow. My fourth train today, and my last one until this evening. All right, we made it to Amsterdam Central Station. Let's rock. I do have some bad news though, guys. All right, Lionhearts, welcome to one of, if not my favorite city in the world, Amsterdam. So the bad news is that I found out that the Anne Frank House only books tickets two months in advance. That would not have worked because my original plan for this day was to actually come here about three or four days from now. And they don't let you film inside anyway, so I guess in the long run it's okay. Aside from that, all the other museums that I want to go to do allow you to film. No flash photography, no lights, but I can film, so this is going to be great. I'm thinking um, Rembrandt's house, the Rijksmuseum, and we'll see what else. And who knows, maybe another canal cruise. And they have an amazing transit system here. Last time I was here, I was completely floored. Now let's go take a little closer look at Central Station. I love the Art Nouveau aspects to it. Well, by the smell in the air already, either Bob Marley's hanging out, or there is a ganja convention going on. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. All right, let's head off to uh, Dom Square, and, uh, and then we'll go explore from there. Start walking the streets. We have all day. Only one day here today. And I'm still thinking Paris is an option. I talked to the girl at the hostel, that uh, was working there last night, told her my plan, and she helped me look for tickets and we found out it was just way too expensive, but she said she would text me today if she could come up with any other options for me. So not all a hope is lost. We might still end up in Paris in a couple days, we don't know. Either uh, I'll have to pony up the money and just pay the outrageous fee, or maybe I'll get lucky and find some alternative method that's just as easy or hopefully not a total pain. Trying to get my bearings about me. Usually I know where I'm at by uh, wherever Madame Tussauds is and I don't quite see it yet, so let's go look for it. Check out the Victoria Hotel, isn't that amazing? So I decided what we'll do first today 
is even though we can't go in, let's go to the Anne Frank house so you can see what it looks like, what the front, what the front entrance looks like, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they had a statue of Anne Frank there, and I'd like to see that for Shelly's sake. And if you don't know, my old friend Shelly Winters was actually in the Diary of Anne Frank as Mrs. Von Damme. And when the director picked her for that, George Stevens, he had worked with her in A Place in the Sun before, and he actually said, Shelly, if you're willing to gain some weight for this picture and then lose it, you'll win the Oscar. What do you think happened? That is nuts. I just walked in to uh, buy some post postcards and uh, they were selling space cakes in there. In a souvenir shop, I, you know, last time I was here, they only did it in the coffee shops. I was kind of surprised. All right, check this one out. Right at the very, very top, there's a golden angel with a blue robe. It's pretty interesting. And of course, Holland is known for their beautiful flowers and tulips. A couple of things I always think of when I think Amsterdam. I think canals, bicycles, flowers, and boats. So another thing about Amsterdam, if you don't know, let me school you on this. All the buildings are really tall, and the reason is because they used to be taxed by the amount of land that they took up. So everybody just built their houses straight up and took up all the land going straight up. Pretty smart. So because of that, almost all these places have ridiculous amounts of thin stairwells. Check out all the old boats. So what I love about Amsterdam is Amsterdam is basically a city that is surrounded by four rings of canals. So there's actually, that's kind of how you know where you're at. You kind of just count the uh, canals out when you go places. And then you just walk in a circle. Pretty cool. So no photos at the Van Gogh Museum and no photos at Anne Frank House. So those are the two places we definitely will not be going inside of. And why go again if I've already done it once and you guys can't go along this time? See how tall all those buildings are, like I was saying? Well, that's cool. So I'm catching a bit of a weird glare here, but I want to read this to you. I'm going to translate it out of Dutch for you, but it basically says Franz Banningkok, Captain of Night Watch, 1605 to 1655. So this was his house. So what that means is that once we go to Rembrandt's house of 20 years later today, which is the museum, and it was also his workshop, you'll understand, um, they'll mention Night Watch in there. It's a very, very famous painting by Rembrandt. It's probably the most famous. And we'll actually see it in the Rijksmuseum. And also, when we go over towards Rembrandt's house and museum, there's actually a section of town over there called Rembrandt Plain, and they actually have a life-size statue of Nightwatch. All the men there in their poses, it looks amazing. Last time I was here, I tried to take photos, but I got there at a time of the day when everything was backlit, so all I got were shadows. That's an interesting doorway to me. I dig that. There's something about it, it almost looks, well, it's very World War II. Let's go up here and see who and what this statue is. I remember this from the last time I was here. Not exactly sure who it is, I'll look it up in a little bit. So he's actually a Dutch writer that um, wrote a satirical novel about like colonialism in the Dutch Indies. All right, the GPS is saying to make a turn down here to get to uh, Anne Frank House. I'm guessing these people like stickers. You gotta love the irony. All these people are up here laughing at the Amsterdam duck store. Just all like rubber duckies. Now much like Belgium, they are big fans of their fries and waffles here as well. But Belgium claims to have invented the fries. All right, see we've come upon another canal. One of the four. What the heck? So one of the questions I'm guessing a lot of you are asking is, why did you go to Belgium if you were just gonna take off and go to Amsterdam and other places? Well, um, because they're so close. And when I was at the Blood Church yesterday, I was telling the guy there what my plan was. He said, how long are you gonna be in Bruges? I said, three days, but 
one day I'm gonna take off, go to another city. He goes, that's pretty smart, actually. He goes, a lot of people think that you can just see Bruges in three hours, but he said, two, three days, you get the lay of the land. I'd say we're close. And those three X's up there, that's the, the sign for Amsterdam. Okay, well, as emotional as it is, this is this is it. We're coming up to the house, and you're gonna see how big this line is out here. Glad I've seen it before. <laughs> now I am gonna assume that everyone knows the Anne Frank story. I mean. That's something that we had to read when I was in elementary school. But it's basically the diary of a young girl whose family goes into hiding because the Nazi invasion. And they end up living up here until, um, until obviously they were found out. And uh, they had to ration their food. They had just a handful of people that knew they were here and would help take care of them. And uh, once, they were, once they were found out, all of the family members were sent to concentration camps um, and the only survivor to my knowledge was the father Otto Frank and Shelley told me a really great story that when she won her Oscar for this movie she said that uh, she had always swore that she was gonna bring the Oscar here and donate it and she kept it for I can't recall how long it was either 10 or 20 years and her she was coming here for a uh, filming and her uh, longtime housekeeper said, Miss Winters, you promised you were gonna do it, you're gonna take it this time. And so the day that she brought her Oscar that is showcased inside here, they told her, it's almost unbelievable that you're here because one day a year, Mr. Franck comes here to visit the place and he's gonna be here today. Would you like to meet him? And they took her and Otto Frank into a secluded room and he answered questions. They just kind of talked and he actually told Shelley how much he enjoyed her performance and how so much like Mrs. Von Dom she was. So this is the Anne Frank house. And let's go take a look at this line and then we'll find the statue. See, it's all this. And then the line goes all the way down here. <laughs> I'm gonna save us all the footage, but it keeps going and going and going. As you can see on the sign where it says Anne Frank House and everything, this they took over the property next to it and everything and turned it into kind of the entryway and the museum and everything. So they have most of this property when you come. And this would have been outside their apartment. And all those things that Anne Frank would describe, this is what she would be describing. These churches and the surrounding buildings and the noises outside. They could hear Nazis patrolling up and down these streets nightly. Isn't that incredible? History is definitely worth knowing. Now let's go find that uh, statue. So this is actually a pancake place, and I just had to show you because I love the decorations. Check this out. And because the church bells are ringing, and this is really awesome to look at while the church bells ring. I don't know who this is. It's on the side of the uh, church that the bells are ringing on. There it is. Very small, but there it is. for whoever gets my sunglasses, there you go. And that statue is literally right at the base of this church about a block from her house. Oh yeah, by the way, they love their herring here, love it. And their cheese shop. They actually have a cheese museum here. My family would love this store. So now we're going to a museum that we're not actually gonna go in. I wanna see the grounds of it. I saw a picture of them, they look amazing. And they have a little bit of Christmas happening over here. That hotel over there has a rooster on top. Wicked. 
Well, it's not sunny, but it's pretty cold out here. Pretty cold and a little bit chilly and windy. So I want to actually go across the street. I'm going to show you guys. There's an alligator statue hanging off the side of this building. Let's take a look. See that alligator up there off the corner? It's weird lighting around here where I just couldn't get a good shot of that without getting in the middle of the street. You should have made them green, guys. Green. I assume that very top one is Bibles? Bibles Museum? What the heck is that thing? So I think that thing actually lights up at night. Maybe we'll make it by here before I leave. Let's see. And I just realized Dom Square is actually on our way, so we're gonna hit Dom Square first. Oh, check that place out. Can you see Art Deco? That's amazing. And then this is Gothic with the spires. Let's go over here. That's my favorite one in town. Now the last time I was here, I took a ton of pictures of this place. Entrance to Dom Square, right by here. Gandhi, Martin Luther King, and Mandela. And this takes us to Dom Square. Oh, here we go, here we go! The pigeons are out, there's Madame Tussauds, Dom Square. Man, I'm happy. You guys are gonna love this. Oh yeah. Always working 